Hi, my name is Bella, and today I'd like to explain how liquid goods in open containers such as open syringes, agar, or culture media can be sterilized. The products are placed on the designated trolley, the trolley is pushed into the steam sterilizer, the door is closed, and the appropriate program is selected. And that's what happens next. First, the chamber walls must be heated up. Therefore, steam is passed through the channels outside the chamber. If the walls are not heated first, the steam needed later inside the chamber for sterilization would condense and cause the products to be sterilized to become wet. When sterilizing open syringes, bags, and ampoules, it is important to ensure that the liquids do not evaporate too much, which happens when the pressure is too low or the temperature too high. As air is a really good insulator, as much air as possible needs to be evacuated. Then, steam is filled in the chamber till a set temperature has been reached. Hot steam heats up all products to the set sterilizing temperature, so all microorganisms are killed by the heat. Depending on the product to be sterilized, the duration of this phase can be adapted. Liquids, which have a boiling temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, can be heated up with this method up to 120 degrees Celsius with just a bit of evaporation due to the high pressure. After the sterilization phase, it is time to cool the sterilized goods. To cool the sterilizer and the products, the channels outside the chamber are flushed with cooling water. Additionally, pressurized air is added inside to increase the pressure to avoid liquids boiling and evaporating. The cooled chamber walls cool the steam air mixture inside the chamber so the chamber and products cool down. Water is flushed through the channels until a defined product temperature has been reached. The doors can now be opened and the trolley with the dry products can be taken out.